Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing from Jaded Gem Shop. You guys, I am in so much trouble because <laughs> Jaded Gem Shop keeps releasing kits that are exactly my art style. <laughs> so I have several on the way and I'm planning to work on one very, very soon. Um, and I thought about waiting to do like a bigger haul video with <laughs> when I get more kits in, but then I just really didn't want to wait to get into this one. So let me start uh, getting into this box <laughs> so we can, we can take a look at what we got here. So let me see if I just pop it open here on the side, if it'll just open right up. So hi, how are you guys doing today? I hope that your day is off to a lovely start so far. Jaded Gem Shop has a really lovely selection of diamond painting kits that are either legally licensed from the artist or are an old master's kit. And so they're part of the public domain and free to use. So all these things that I am all about. So thank you, Jade, for doing right by artists and signing some really lovely artists as well. So, whoa, hello. <laughs> uh, Jade always includes some candy goodies, which I will not say no to, and some washi tape, super sparkly and super pretty. And then here's her kit. Everything else is just inside here. So if you want a sneak peek at the original artwork, this is inspiration, isn't it gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Now, I know that I am far from the only one that picked this kit up because it just was so breathtaking. Like, how could you possibly resist? Uh, so this is from the artist. I believe it's Carla Rodriguez or Doll Etoile. Um, and oh my God look at how gorgeous this is all right you guys so i did do an unboxing of a piece called heart of the forest mini from jaded gem shop and you may as you're seeing me unroll this if you watch that one you may be looking at this and going this looks a little bit different <laughs> um heart of the forest mini was a kit that i ordered in squares or with square diamonds because Jada Gem Shop offers both. Uh, you can choose if you want round or square diamonds. She has a huge um, set of selections as far as sizes and crops go as well. You know, I'm just gonna roll this backwards so that way I'm not fighting with it while I'm talking to you. Uh, so I actually really love that about her shop. It's one of my favorite things is that <laughs> she has so many size options and she's not gonna offer them in a size unless she feels like it it does look good in that size which i really do appreciate um and i like that she offers crops i feel like she's the first shop that i've seen offering crops of artwork and i'm obsessed i think that it's such an amazing choice on her part uh so there we go now that's laying a little more flat now the square drill kit that i ordered from her i think because it had squares and so it's going to cover up the background entirely that one the printing on the canvas had kind of a photo negative effect so that you kind of got to see the colors be revealed as you place them since this canvas has round diamonds it completely makes sense that she has kept the colors that are printed on the canvas true to the actual colors of the artwork that way you're not having odd colors peek out around behind those round diamonds so completely completely agree with that choice of course um but I ended up ordering this one in a 60 by 80 centimeter uh, size. And I, that was not the smallest. I don't think it was the largest either. Uh, Inspiration is the title of it again. Carla Rodriguez is the name of the artist. And Doll Etoile is her Instagram handle and whatnot. There's Shaded Gem Shops branding and all of her socials. She does have a YouTube channel as well. I like watching her lives during the week because it's fun to see her packing orders and whatnot um but uh, yeah i decided this was the second kit that i had ordered from her i believe and since the first one was with square diamonds i thought i want to try one that has round diamonds in it now one thing i do want to point out to you if you are taking a look and trying to decide what size to get from jaded gem shop on a particular canvas she includes a disclaimer in the description but i want to mention it as well um that the digital renders that appear like that she has on the listings 
those are basically estimates. That's before, from my understanding, that's before she goes in and she and her artists do touch-ups to those renderings to make them really clean and clear. Uh, so that's worth keeping in mind for sure. Um, I thought that getting this one in 60 by 80, like a little bit bigger size, uh, would be nice, especially for some of the smaller details, like some of the music notes that we have at the top. I really, really loved the idea of those being really clear to make out. So I'm so curious to see how this one works out. Uh, it looks like there's a pale green border on this one, just like there was with the Heart of the Forest mini kit. I'll link to that unboxing, by the way, if you're curious. Uh, we do have a thumbnail of the original artwork. This is at the bottom of the canvas and there's a legend. Um, I will actually, she included an inventory sheet as well, which I jumped ahead a little bit, but there's an inventory sheet as well that I'll probably just run through my sticker maker and use when I kit up into storage containers. That way I can refer to that instead of having to look at the legend all the time. But if you wanted to take a look, it looks like we're going to have 45 colors in this kit. Uh, the DMC that you see here, that's a color code that's used with a lot of um, like cross stitch and floss and it's what a lot of diamond painting companies use as well. This kit does not have any ABs. Right now, Jada Gem Shop does not have any special drills. I'm really okay with it, honestly, because I feel like the grand majority of her artwork anyway, like it's, it's a little bit more muted and whimsical. There's like a lot more sort of confetti and whatnot. I feel like it totally works and it can even be just really, really beautiful without ABs. Um, just in case you're curious, uh, I'm just peeling back the plastic cover and laying it back down just because of how it was rolled and I kind of just want to see how well that plastic lays flat. It's a pretty thick plastic cover. It's very sturdy, uh, but it's peeling back beautifully. Jada Gem Shop uses poured glue on her canvases. I haven't had the chance to complete one yet. It's on my plans for this month. Um, so you'll get to see, I'll be able to share kind of my actual um, thoughts as far as what it's like to work on one of these canvases and how the glue holds up and the canvas holds up. But just at first glance, it's quite, quite sticky and it seems like a really nice quality. Peeling back that plastic cover like that did kind of help get rid of some of those just visual wrinkles. That's just, that happens with a lot of kits in transit when they're rolled. So it's mostly just an aesthetic thing. As far as the actual canvas material goes, uh, it's a really nice soft backing, but you can see that it lay, it's laying flat really beautifully. Um, sometimes this type of canvas backing doesn't always do that, but in both the first kit that I unboxed from Jade and this one, it seems like it is a really high quality um, canvas. So it seems like it's really thick and sturdy, but also being like really flexible. So hopefully that means it's gonna hold drills really beautifully and we're not gonna have to worry about any falling off and it's gonna lay flat and whatnot. Uh, let's take a look at the drill field itself. So the printing is crystal clear, which I appreciate. There are a couple of symbols that are maybe a little bit similar, but with the printing so clear, not panicking or anything like that. But if you look, we've got uh, this triangle and this teardrop that are both black symbols on, like one's an olive background and one's a brown background. I am not necessarily opposed to similar symbols like that, as long as the printing on the canvas is clear and this is, but those are the kind of things that it's good to be aware of, to notice and go, okay, I wanna make sure I'm paying attention when I'm uh, pulling colors to work on. Yeah, and especially since they're similar colors, we're probably gonna have a number of them next to each other. Again, this is, in my opinion, this is not a deal breaker. It's just something to look out for and make sure that you're paying attention to. But the canvas almost has a little bit of a shimmery effect. It's it's almost sparkly, it's pretty. <laughs> um, we have these white symbols on blue backgrounds, like this one here and the dollar sign. Again, they're printed clearly, but uh, as long as there's nothing else too similar to that uh, clover. Yeah, sometimes that happens with white symbols. You just have to watch closely. <laughs> But honestly, especially the black symbols on lighter backgrounds, super easy to read. Super, super, super easy to read. I don't, 
I don't really see any others that give me any sort of cause for concern besides just that, that teardrop and that triangle that I would just say, make sure you're paying attention. That's really, that's really all you have to do. They're two distinctly different color backgrounds um, and that helps it to be easier to tell the difference between the two. Um, I just, whenever I get a new canvas, especially from a relatively new to me company, um, I like to get a sense for, uh, I guess sort of like their quirks as far as symbols go so that I know like, okay, these are the kinds of symbols that I personally might find myself um, tending to mix up. And so now I'm just kind of uh, paying close attention is really the way that I put it. Let's do a really quick measurement. See if we're true to size. We are 80 centimeters on the nose and we are 60 centimeters, maybe a tiny tick shy of 60 centimeters left to right. Definitely calling that true to size. I give companies wiggle room when it comes to dimensions because a lot of it just depends on the artwork itself when it's turned into a diamond painting form. So yes, I'm gonna call that true to size. Uh, now let me show you what else was included. There's this piece of paper that I think, is this release paper? Actually not entirely sure, yes. Okay, so included is a few sheets of release paper. Um, this is something that if you don't like working with the plastic cover on the canvas, you can peel it up and put release paper down instead. It's not going to stick. However, you have to be really, really, really careful that you are actually using the correct kind of paper. Um, I can tell by feel at this point that yes, this is release paper, um, but you just have to be careful. You can also use something like parchment paper, but you cannot use wax paper. Uh, that will stick to your canvas. And there is a difference between wax and parchment paper. The best suggestion that I have is before you try anything, uh, laying anything down on the canvas besides the plastic cover that it came with, unless you're working with a double-sided adhesive canvas, then it's gonna have a solid cover. This is a poured glue canvas. So before I were to try any other kind of cover on it, I would peel back just a corner of the plastic and just test this on a tiny little section there, make sure it peels off fine, maybe even set it there for, and leave it there for half an hour and then come back and make sure it still peels up really easily just to be totally safe so you don't ruin your canvas. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> um, we've also got this little inventory sheet. There is that gorgeous original artwork. Oh my gosh, I love this so, 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 so much. Uh, and then we have our inventory list over here. It tells us exactly how many of each color we're going to have. Um, and I will probably cut these into, cut this into a strip uh, that includes like the DMC and the symbol and feed that through my sticker maker. And then I'll just use that on my storage containers so I can just refer to those. And the printing on these is really clear as well. Like those two symbols that I had pointed out to you, I'm like, oh, those are a little bit similar. Like we have the teardrop here and the triangle here and they're, they're really printed clearly as well. Now, one thing I wanna note, and this is, a del this is an intentional choice on Jade's part. I know that she is open um, to feedback. You know, if you have strong feelings about this, you know, you can politely let her know. Um, that she did make the decision not to include toolkits with her canvases because generally speaking, her canvases, her kits are really not terribly beginner friendly. It's very, 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 very likely that if you're purchasing one of her kits that um, it's not the first diamond painting kit that you've done. It could be, it certainly could be. You'd be working with like a really nice, high quality product um, for your first kit. But given the size, the number of colors, um, cause most of her uh, kits are pretty large. She has a few kind of more snack size in there, but a lot of them are much larger. So she's decided in the, in the interest of not producing more plastic waste, to forego sending basic toolkits. So that's the reason that she made that decision. It wasn't because she is trying to like deprive us of something. She just, her her thought and the initial feedback that she has gotten is that, well, yeah, most of us have <laughs> either plenty, plenty of basic toolkits that we can use or we've upgraded, you know, into larger trays or uh, like bigger pens and have like other waxes and you know, have wax coming out our ears. <laughs> <laughs> literally, <laughs> figuratively, um, that we're working with. But like I said, my understanding is that she is open to feedback on that. 
Anyway, with that tangent, I just wanted to acknowledge and explain why there was no toolkit to show with this particular kit. And there wasn't one with Heart of the Forest many either. So it looks like we have some heat sealed uh, diamonds in here and that we have two separate bags. They're labeled. Uh, let's take a look at some of these colors. Like I said, the first kit that I got from her and the only other kit I've gotten kit I've gotten so far is uh, had square drills and this has rounds. They are resin. That is something that I know she really was striving for with all of her diamonds was that they would all be resin because especially when it comes to squares, resin drills are just so, so nice to work with. They're a lot less problem prone. So you should have leftovers in each of these colors. And I think she's just given as much as as you need. And I feel like companies like drill suppliers that have diamonds bagged like this, uh, typically they have like a couple of different sizes of bags of diamonds that they offer. I'm gonna pull some numbers just out of thin air. This is not an actual quote of what's happening. This is just my understanding and my best guess. Uh, so like a company might offer bags of 250 and 500 and 1000 and 2000. And they're gonna look at how many you need and they're gonna give you like the appropriate number of bags like pr proportional to that, excuse me. Um, but they're gonna always like round up so you shouldn't run out, you know? Um, so that's why you see like a lot of different sizes of bags, like this doesn't have much in it. Um, and some we have like in strands and some are just individual. So pretty sure that that is what's going on here, but I'm not 100% sure. Just wanted to let you know what my best guess is. But the quality on these looks nice. The colors look really nice. I love all of the, the pinks and the pastels that I'm seeing. There's some really pretty blues as well. Um, and yeah, so you guys, this is, again, this is inspiration from Jada Gem Shop. It is legally licensed from the artist Carla Rodriguez also known as Doll Etoile. Um, Jade has several pieces from this artist in her shop. It's a problem. I have several others on the way. <laughs> and she continues to add new artwork like nearly daily, like at least weekly, she's adding new artwork to her shop. Now, please keep in mind that Jade is a, Jade Gem Shop is a small business. It's just owned and operated by one person out of their home. So be sure that you are taking a look at what the turnaround times are that are listed on the different listings. They can be a bit longer turnaround times, but it is worth the wait. And Jade is very communicative. If you need to reach out to her, have any questions, don't hesitate to do, show, do so. She doesn't bite. <laughs> uh, but she is very much a small business and her business has grown so, 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 so much faster than she anticipated sh since she launched. Was it last year or the beginning of this year? Uh, so please, please, please remember to be gracious to our small shop owners in the community. Um, be understanding. And of course, like if you have any questions or concerns, contact her um, and she will, I'm sure, get back to you. And I'm, she's happy to help. She's super sweet. So thank you, Jade, for bringing so many amazing, amazing diamond painting kits to the community. I cannot wait to get started on one of them. I'm still trying to decide which one to start with, but I love it. I love it. I love it. And even though I haven't had the chance to work on one yet, you guys, I really, really honestly have to say that I am blown away by what I'm seeing of the quality, everything from the canvas to the glue to the drill fields, especially with the drill quality looks amazing. The render from what I can see, which is easier to tell, I will say on a, a round drill kit because all the colors in the background are true to the original artwork as opposed to the ones on a square shaped diamond painting kit. Um, that will have the photo negative effect. Uh, this one, at least I get a sense for what the render looks like. And I think it looks gorgeous. Like so, 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 so incredibly beautiful. Uh, you guys be sure to follow Jade as well on Instagram and her other socials because she does run sales from time to time. Like in the month of July, she was running a discount code that was, there were a couple I think that were specific to different events, but you could use them on any kits in her shop. 
As of the time of this filming, she's not currently running a discount code in her shop that I'm aware of, but like I said, follow her on Instagram and she is pretty free about posting when she does run sales and when there are discount codes available. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I love it, Jade. Um, keep up the good work, my friend. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, you guys, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? And of course, if you're not already subscribed and want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you. All right, friends, have an amazing rest of your day. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.